Hi and welcome to the first episode of Fly TV Squeeze. This is going to be a new program format that's going to make the wait between the big Fly TV episodes a little bit shorter. Today uh, we're going to fish uh, with magic heads in the Stockholm Archipelago. I have my good friend Mark Petershaw here from Switzerland. He's the inventor of these guys and uh, we are going to show a little bit how you fish them and hopefully we'll catch some fish and also how to cut them a little bit like that. And today we're going to be guided by our good friend uh, Bo Lundgren here from Catch okay. and Max. Let's catch Thank some you. sea trout or pike or whatever we'll catch on these guys. Absolutely. I thought it was a trout actually. I'm happy for a pike. <laughs> Excellent. <laughs> but I don't have any leader whatsoever, so. I was a small girl. So she uh, she really took that magic head fire there. There we go. Excellent. <laughs> I will congratulations. <laughs> well done. Ah. So get a trout now, what we are what we're here for. <laughs> okay, Trouty, where are you? But sometimes these pike coves can hold really big sea trout because it's a lot of minnows in here uh -huh. and it's also uh, the water becomes much more warmer in here because it's a lot of clay on the bottom so if you want to seek these big really big sea trout what we're trying to catch now it's good to to fish these places i'm just scared about you're scared about the pike oh the pike because it doesn't <laughs> last long on a leader like this don't be scared about the pike they're very nice Friends of mine. So Mark, I believe you've been fishing the magic head flies all over the world, but what's the, what kind of fun fish have you caught on these type of flies? Um, I've been fishing, yeah, you are right, also in uh, salt water for, uh, for tarpon, for... Uh, but I also saw some picture from Spain, you with a major yes. two meter catfish or something Absolutely. like that? Absolutely, two meter catfish on, <laughs> on those magic heads. I mean, every <laughs> predatory fish apparently likes it very much. Uh, I think it's the movement who really create the... Uh, uh, and an attraction, but it is not written on the hook shank, trout only. No. <laughs> but the wind is perfect here. Yeah, it's actually a very nice spot. Should be fish here. It's just um, making these uh, 500 casts before they, they bite. <laughs> Up. Here. That was the 501 cast. So Excellent. It, <laughs> it took that tan magic head fly. Whoop, whoop. It's a good one. Yeah, it's a nice one. So it took when I stopped it and talked to you there and talked about 500 casts. It just boom. Excellent. There we go. Nice. Bravo, monsieur. Ah, that's a nice one. Oh, in very good condition. Yeah. I think he wanted that fly pretty bad. <laughs> A lot of people ask uh, how you tie the magic head on, what kind of knot you need, and also how you trim it for the best action. So Mark is now going to show how this is done uh, his way. Okay, I mean, for that kind of flies, it's uh, a, a way too big. So the first thing I'm going to do is to reduce the size. For that, I will squeeze it that way. And with the scissors, I will make a small like onion ring, like this. And this is about the correct size for this size of hook. The second thing is, I notice by cutting a small lip under, we will increase the wiggling effect by approximately 30%. And this is what I do now. And where do I do that? On the side of the weight. 
right on the like this. Now many people ask, how do I get the tip head in? <laughs> it's very simple. You just push and reverse the cone that way. And then you have access directly in the eye to put the tip head in. Now we'll just put it on a on a rod and we will watch it right now. It's just perfect. That's the right yeah. size. Have you done this before? <laughs>